is called the Plastiki. It's a spin on that famous uh, kind of con tiki takeoff there. The boat's completely made out of plastic bottles, and they're going to sail across the Pacific, and they're going to look at the trash that's out there uh, and very closely look at it. Now, there's another expedition on the way to find out if every ocean has the problem that we found in the Pacific, if they're all choked with plastic, and if that plastic is actually on our plates. A research mission in the Pacific Ocean made a disturbing discovery. This is the first time plastic is found in a fish humans will eat. You may not recognize this fish, but on any seafood menu in the world, you will find mahi-mahi. The discovery adding a major new focus to the research by Captain Charles Moore of the Algalita Marine Research Foundation. It looks like a power bar. Moore is credited with first discovering the Pacific Ocean debris 10 years ago. Trapped in a rotating current of the North Pacific between China and the West Coast, the circular effect pulls trash from North America, Asia, and the Hawaiian Islands. Slowly the trash disintegrates, but never fully disappears. It's a toxic soup of floating garbage. Plenty of jerky bags. Moore says the problem has only gotten worse. Just back from another trip to the original site, he says the debris field has doubled in size. And the Mahi Mahi they caught adds a major new concern. Their research had already confirmed plastic is entering the lower levels of our food chain. Birds mistake it for food, and bottom feeding fish do too, both making a meal of it. A fish like this, I found 26 pieces of plastic, all different colors, inside one stomach. So the concern is that fish eat these small particles of plastic that have chemicals on their surface. The chemicals get into their tissue, work their way up the food chain, and then get onto our dinner plate. There are other oceans to search. Dr. Marcus Erickson and his wife, Anna Cummins, are on the first global study of ocean debris. Starting here in the North Atlantic, their project to travel the five major currents of the planet's oceans. Does this happen in all of our oceans? We're chasing junk in the water. During a stop in Bermuda, they told me by Skype what they found on their first thousand miles. These are common plastic products that we use on land and we're finding them floating in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. You know, you hear the expression, everything rolls downhill. Well, the ocean is the ultimate downhill. Experts are just beginning to explore how big this problem might be, but the most frightening question of all may not be where the trash is now, but how much of it ends up on our dinner plates. The question at hand, which has not been studied yet, is what happens to those contaminants when they come off the particle into the fish tissue? And that's something that needs to be looked at. And here's some of the stuff we wanted to show you. Not only is it big things like construction helmets that just wash and soak in the ocean, but take a look at this bottle, and you can see where the fish have actually chewed on it. You can see the jagged teeth marks on this uh, little fabric soft bottle. There's some of the fish that chewed on this head.